Hey there, this is Josh from Reply. Today we're going to be taking a look at multi-channel sequences. The multi-channel sequence is the core of Reply sales engagement platform and your one-stop shop for hassle-free sales communications. Each sequence includes a number of steps that you can combine in an order that best suits your workflow. For example, personal emails, follow-ups, LinkedIn outreach, calls, tasks, SMS and social touches with programmable delays between each of those steps. To create a new sequence on the sequence page, click the new sequence button. There are two options to create a new sequence. If you select the from template option, you can choose between reply curated templates, save templates, or team templates. Click the from scratch option if you want to create a completely new sequence. From there, the sequence wizard will guide you through the steps that you need to do in order to launch a new sequence. On the first step, click the add step button. You can choose between manual or automatic emails, calls, manual or automatic SMS, WhatsApp, LinkedIn messages, connection requests, in-mail or view profile, Zapier, and finally task steps. Let's take a look at each of those individual steps within Reply. Automatic emails and automatic SMS steps are sent to a list of prospects by Reply. All you need to do is to create a message that the system will send on your behalf. For manual emails, manual SMS, LinkedIn, calls, and WhatsApp steps, Reply will create a corresponding task for every contact in a sequence once the contacts are moved to that step. You can add variables to personalize your messages and once the tasks are generated by the system, access them in your Reply Chrome extension. For LinkedIn outreach, Reply offers the four types of steps. Send messages, connection requests, in-mail, and view profile. Learn more about LinkedIn outreach with Reply via the link in the top. With the Zapier step, you can specify the next action for the prospects in a sequence. For example, move them to the next step immediately or wait for an action from Zapier and then move them on to the next stage. The last option allows connecting Reply with over 2,000 other tools and creating unique flows for your prospects. For instance, enriching a prospect with additional data from third-party providers, maybe start showing them ads on LinkedIn, etc. So, let's start with an automated email step. In the Email Composer, you can either use a public template or create a new email from scratch. Try Reply's variables to create super personalized emails. As well, you can insert images, attachments, videos from Vineyard, and preview an email here to see what a prospect will receive. To keep all of your sequence emails in the same thread, you simply need to leave the subject line of every follow-up email blank. There are A-B test options as well within the platform that are available for any plan. You can watch a video to know more details about the A-B testing feature here. After creating your sales sequence with several follow-up steps, you can also customize the delays between each of those individual stages. Also, while creating sequence steps, you can reorder the steps using the drag and drop functionality. After you've created all the necessary steps in your sequence, click Next to select the campaign schedule. By default, you'll see a list of schedules available to you. Select one and modify it based on your requirements. You can also create another schedule that may be useful if you want to run multiple sequences targeted to different time zones. Watch the how to set a schedule video to learn more. Once the schedule is selected, you can add contacts to your sequence. Here, you can upload contacts from a CSV file, add existing contacts, or create them manually. To import contacts from a CSV file, Choose this option and select the file you'd like to upload. Once you're on the mapping page, confirm and check the CSV fields to match the fields you'll be using in Reply. In general settings, you can specify the sending email address, set daily sending limits, as well as the delay between each of your individual steps. If you'd like to review these settings in more detail, you can watch the sequence settings overview video as well. The launch step provides you with an overview of the sequence. From here, you can save or save and launch the sequence or even jump to any of the previous steps in the sequence wizard. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us via support at reply.io, and thank you very much.